everyone, it's Gabriel here, here today to do a little YouTube video. So in today's video, I will sadly be cleaning out Paisley's cage, because she has passed. But, uh, the good thing about it is you will see me redo the cage and be getting a new hamster, hopefully at the end of this video, which I am so excited for. Uh, because I feel like it's a waste to have such a large, beautiful cage and not put a little lovely, sweet hamster in it. That would be dishonorable in Paisley's name because that's the whole reason why I got it was that this cage was so Paisley could live her best life. So we should just let all the hamsters live their best lives in this cage. So let's get started. Since Paisley passed away, I thought it would be nice to just go through some of the little things about her that were really cute by going over it in her cage. So she pretty much would always take everything out of her bowl which was just really funny, and this is what she left. Uh, and I always filled it up to about here with lab blocks and a little bit of seed mix and some freeze-dried mealworms to help give her some extra protein. And then here is her little box, um, which was meant to be like a little uh, chamber system for her, but she did definitely chew it up to make it easier to get through. And this is where she liked to nest, which I just thought was really cute to mention. And she would just bring all sorts of stuff down here. And this was her little nest and her hoard with her last bit of um, whimsy chew. This is the last whimsy chew I gave her. I remember I was like, oh, she hasn't had a whimsy chew in a while. So that's how much she ate of her whimsy chew. And then she liked to, she pretty much never ate these whenever they, I have a forage mix that I would put in here and she didn't eat them. And then, look, she would leave little bits of her treats. And I don't know, I just think it's really cute. This is her little nest. And it's all the lab blocks she stole. And then her little poops. Um, I don't know, I just like that quite a bit. So yeah, that was like her nest. And as you can see, she only ever brought like a little bit of toilet paper down here and she would really shred it up which was nice. And then, moving on, she pretty much never used this. I thought maybe she would, but she ended up not using it. And then her wheel, which we'll need to wash. Uh, but what was really interesting is she started peeing in this back corner, so that was her potty corner, uh, which I actually cleaned out a week or two before she passed. And as you can see, she was using it. And I just, little things about Paisley, how she kept her, her hoard, how she didn't burrow so there's no tunnels, um, and how, you know, she became potty trained. So yeah, I don't know, I just thought we'd remember her real quick before we take all of her stuff out and make it for a new little hammy. Okay, so the IKEA detolf has been completely cleaned out. I still have to clean it with vinegar, which I'll just do off camera. I wasn't even thinking, but I vacuumed it out to get all the remainders of the sand and all that. It's clean. Uh, next, I will be going through and cleaning the toys. I don't know how I'm going to clean the wooden ones, but I'm going to wash everything that's plastic. Um, I just don't want her scent to be on them. I don't know if that'll mess with a new hamster. I need to clean that, and then this, I need to remove the coconut hide so I can clean that, but then I think I'm going to be painting this um, a light blue color, only the top, not the bottom, because I don't want a hamster chewing that, but the top I will be painting, and then after that, I will actually be making some toys. I don't know if I'll film that. I'm just gonna be making some new cardboard toys and stuff like that, so yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so everything has been cleaned. Uh, what I ended up doing was wiping down the plastic things, so the wheel and the bowl with salt and vinegar. <laughs> Not salt and vinegar. I was, 
<laughs> I ended up wiping these two things, the plastic things, with vinegar and water and just sanitizing it that way and then doing the same thing with this, which might need to be cleaned out just a little bit more because it might it's still a little dirty, but yeah. Um, then I baked all of the wooden items at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. Hopefully it'll help with scents and since I took out all the bedding and everything, that should also help with just removing her scent, um, which is really sad to talk about and kind of like morbid, like, oh, I have to remove everything that was Paisley's and give it to something else. Anyways, it's just weird. Um, and then I put my oat sprays in here just to show you guys what kind of stuff's gonna be going in here. I will be adding some more little rocks and such. Um, sand bath, I'm thinking about putting over here. I also plan on using a water bottle. I was using a water bowl for Miss Paisley, but I was able to find my water holder. Where did I put it? I put my water bottle holder somewhere, but I need hot, I not hot glue, I need super glue to glue it to in the, one of the ends. Uh, so yeah, and my plan for this enclosure is I wanna get brown Carefresh bedding and Aspen bedding and kind of do a, not a mix of it, but like have a portion of it be Carefresh, that way it's soft and then part of it Aspen because I have heard that Aspen's hold burrows better and I would like to go for a really natural look. Uh, I do plan on getting more toys for this hammy and making toys. So I wanna make another like little chamber box for this hammy out of cardboard. I wanna make it a little bit smaller this time because I felt like Paisley's might've been a bit too big. So yeah, that's kind of like the ideas. And then I plan on using toilet paper rolls to make some toys, stuff like that. So yeah, that's that. I still have to paint the lid. So yeah, and then I did want to show you guys real quick buns, and here is the new leopard gecko enclosure. So I, this is a little sneak peek to it. The The heat lamp will be removed. It's just my cousin ran out of food and needed her leopard gecko gone, and I ordered the heat mat, but it hasn't arrived yet. So we're using a heat lamp until the heat mat arrives. So yeah, just a little, you know, sneak peek, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that. I will try to film a little bit of me setting up the cage. Um, I don't, I'll try to film me painting the lid and all that, so yeah. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna run to the pet store and get some fresh bedding. I wanna get Aspen and Carefresh. Uh, and I did paint the top. I still have to paint the sides, uh, cause you can see the sides and the inside. So I still have to paint the rest of the top. And then after I get the bedding, I am gonna set up the enclosure um, and make some little toys for it. And yeah, that's the plan. So let's go. Okay, so. This has been made, a little system for the ham to have like a little tunneling thing. And then I did paint the rest of this, so that's exciting. And then I got Katie Clean and Cozy, because I was hoping they'd have brown Carefresh, but they didn't. And this was white, so I thought it would fit better. So I got Katie Clean and Cozy. I don't, it's not scented, so that's good, because I think the lavender kind of this actually kills hamsters if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and then I got Aspen. So yeah, cause I heard that this is good for burrowing. Um, and then I also got some drops. What are, are, are these called yoga drops is what the, yogurt drops, whatever. I remember my hammy really liked these, Paisley. And my brother's hamster before Paisley, Brutus really liked these. And I hadn't had them for a while, so I grabbed them. And then I also found this in all of my supplies, so we have this. Uh, I have all sorts of hides and stuff, I just haven't looked through them. So yeah, now we are going to set this up. I still have to fill up this side with sand, and then other than that, I need to figure out a way to put up the water bottle holder 
and all that jazz. So let's get started. I'm so annoyed with myself. Guys, I set up my camera and everything. I clicked the button and then I had to fix the camera and I, I clicked the button and turned it off. So you guys didn't get to see me setting this up at all. I'm so sorry. I clearly suck at YouTube. Um, anyways, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad because I was like, oh god, this is gonna be so much fun to watch. Didn't click the video, so it's not done yet. So I will just give it a little bit of footage of me setting up the rest of it, I guess. Here I am rubbing the toilet paper on my hands to get my scent in there, which can oftentimes help rodents uh, or like small animals get used to your scent and make them like you more. So yeah. Okay, so let's do a little tour real quick because it's pretty much completely done. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be adding anything else. I do have the flash on just so it's easier to see because the lighting in here isn't the greatest. It's also really raining out. So yeah, um, we're gonna start over here with the sand bath. This is just kids play sand that I, it took me forever to find that. Uh, play sand is very hard to find apparently where I live. It was a big deal whenever I finally found play sand. <laughs> uh, here's the water bottle holder. I don't have the water bottle in yet simply because I'm letting the glue dry. So yeah, this falls down a lot. So I might go back to using a water bowl if it keeps falling down. I really need to get super glue. But I don't know if I want to make it permanently here also, so I don't. I might just use water bowls from now on with my hamsters. Which, I don't really know how I feel. I mean, it's fine, but they get their water really messy most of the time. So yeah, uh, lots of sand. Then we got this huge wheel, which I love how quiet this thing is. And then some little chews right here. And then I put this hide in here just for an extra hide. I put some toilet paper in there. And then I put another chew up here and then a rock to help with like nails and stuff. And then I put the other bendy bridge right here for another little hide. And then here I just have hay because I didn't know where to put it. Um, this is just good for like, sometimes they use it for uh, like their nests. And then I put a big thing of toilet paper here. That way the hamster can move it wherever it wants. Um, and then we have this little tunnel, which I'm hoping they use. I put a treat down here to lure the hammy down. Uh, and then we have oat spray and wheat spray, I think is the other one, all throughout here. I should get some more millet spray, but we'll see. A uh, piece of like little, you know, wood, cork wood. It's not cork wood, but like, you know, reptile wood. I put in here just to, you know, different textures. And I did put a little treat ball underneath with yogos in it. I'm just going to call them that. Uh, just under it so that way the hamster kind of has to work for it and then take it apart uh, another little hot uh chew back there and then i put this here like i showed you guys and some little uh chews and then here uh this is oh sorry this i want to use for like a foraging toy i had one for paisley and she did like it i stuck a whole bunch of food down in there and hopefully the hamster will work to get it out and then uh, the food bowl, which has Missouri rat and mouse food, and then a seed mix underneath, uh, and then another rock, and then underneath, clean and cozy, and some toilet paper, and there's all that. Um, so that's pretty much everything that's gonna be in here. Uh, I still have to put on the top, and once I put on the top, I'll just show you it real quick, because there is the coconut hide, which I'm gonna put some treats in, because I like the idea of the hamster having to work for their food. So yeah, that's really exciting. Maybe, I don't know when I'm gonna get a hamster, but the cage is set up, we are ready to go. Okay, so the top is on, this is what it looks like. I have to paint the sides of those ones, but it's fine. Uh, and then here's the little coconut hide that I wanna show you guys. It's stuffed up with toilet paper rolls and a whole bunch of treats um, because it'll like sway around. I might have to raise it just a little bit more, but yeah, that's that. Um, I tried to, make this match my walls, but this doesn't exactly match as you can tell, but it's fine. I quite like it. I think it's really cute. So yeah, that's good. Okay, so today I think I will be getting a hamster, which I know like, but I have everything set up, so it's fine. I have the setup ready. Um, so the only thing is where am I gonna get the hamster? I have been looking on Craigslist and there aren't many other than like backyard breeders and I don't really like that idea. Also due to quarantine going on, that's a little risky. 
you know, like I don't want to be meeting people off of Craigslist. Um, so yeah, I checked also like my local Facebook groups. No one seems to have any hamsters up for like rescue, adoption, whatever. Uh, so because of that, I'm going to be getting one from a pet store, which I know some of you are like, don't do that. But I also feel bad for those ha like those animals a lot of the time because the, at the end of the day, they'll, those animals will be sold anyways. Um, like, it's not like, I don't know how to explain this right. I've heard someone else explain it where pretty much like they don't, they don't replace an animal after one person buys it. They wait till all the animals are gone to get a new shipment in. So yes, I'm like making it faster, like, you know, having it go quicker for them to get new animals in, but that hamster will end up going to someone who will most likely put it in a critter trail its whole life and it will die before the age of two, you know? So I also have always really wanted to work with a baby hamster. Um, they're so cute, you have to admit. And I would really like to just uh, help its health early on because it's, I've noticed that a lot is like, whenever you get an animal, I've noticed, it's, especially with guinea pigs, it's probably more common with guinea pigs. But um, <laughs> if you don't get it at a young age and it's not taken care of, there will be problems later in life. And then they have certain behaviors that you can't prevent. For example, Paisley had really bad bar chewing, but if she had been given the proper sized enclosure at a young age, she would not have had that problem in my opinion because she wouldn't have been bored. Uh, because for Paisley, it wasn't like, it wasn't a, I'm bored, that's why I'm doing this. She did it because it was built in her behavior, which is something common with hamsters. They'll chew because they're bored, like they'll chew their bo their bars because they're bored. But then over time it becomes almost like a bad habit of theirs and then it can mess with their teeth and stuff. So I don't know which pet store. Um, I think I'm gonna try to go to my local one first because I'd much rather support a local business uh, who cares about their animals a little bit more. Sorry, I saw something on the floor. I was like, is that wet? It's a wrapper. <laughs> um, and then after that, we'll see what else. I don't really know what gender of hamster I want. I honestly don't know. I'm just gonna see what hamster I think is really cute and if it'll let me hold it and that kind of stuff. Whoever speaks to me. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like the plan. I know some people might be mad at me for not adopting, but again, like I even check local rescues. There aren't really ham any hamsters up for adoption. Around me, it's much more common to find rabbits than guinea pigs because of the fact that people use them as like fair animals. So there are a lot of like backyard breeders around here who um, breed rabbits and a lot of people who breed uh, guinea pigs too, which is some good. And I don't get my animals from there. I get mine from people who either don't want them or pet stores most of the time. So I got the new hammy and she was chewing through her box. Anyways guys, in the next clip, I will start introducing her. I'm super excited to show you guys her. She is so cute, I'm really happy. Okay, the hammy's in here. Back up, punch. <laughs> um, she started chewing through this. Uh, I ended up getting her from Petco, which some of you might be disappointed in, but honestly, this Petco I go to takes care of most of their animals really well. They actually do not keep hamsters in enclosure together other than dwarf hamsters. So that's her little nose. So let's get her out and put her in. Here she is. Hi, can I pick you up? Oh, hi, okay, I won't. I wanted to see if she'd be okay with me picking her up. We'll just put ya, put ya in here. Let you crawl out, huh, little one? Oh my God, she is so cute. It actually was really hard trying to pick one out because they were so cute. There's a long-haired Syrian, a black and white Syrian, and then her, um, and I could not make up my mind, but I decided to get her because I just think her coat is really pretty and interesting. Um, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, this is her. I have no idea what I'm gonna name her. I was thinking about I, going with like a theme. Oh, she's eating already. Chitty, you fine, cutie. Yeah, and again, like this Petco, they don't take care of, like they take care of their small animals pretty good. So I was okay with 
supporting them, I guess. I don't know. I just saw her and I was like, yes, please. She's so cute. I did go to one pet store previously, but I didn't really like their care. And on top of that, um, they had Syrian together and then they had a ball python out and he was super emaciated, super duper um, dehydrated. And I just he covered in stuck shed. And I was like, how can they just leave him there like that? Anyways. God, I'm surprised she hasn't run and hid yet. Oh my god. She is amazing. Oh, she's pouching everything, guys. I'm sorry about the glare. I just don't, I just am trying to keep her as not stressed out as possible and not trying to get in her face or anything. Uh, Cause I did try to touch her and she did not appreciate it. So that's my fault. So yeah, guys, the plan for her is pretty much gonna be leaving her alone for about a week. Although that is always a struggle for me because I get way too excited. Um, but I'm definitely gonna try to leave her alone. She is very, very fucking cute. I'm just gonna say it, she's fucking cute. <laughs> but then again, all hamsters are cute. It was really hard trying to figure out which one to get because there were just so many cute little guys there, but I think she's gonna turn out to be such a great, uh, great hamster. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. Uh, I might include some other little clips of her, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like, subscribe. If you didn't, then goodbye.